Hey, what's up, adventurers? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for joining me today. I have an awesome raw food video. Where I'm going to showcase exactly what I feed my dogs here. So kind of get an idea. It's you see how frozen it is. You see how compact everything is. You got some chicken feet, some turkey necks, some fish. You got the chicken necks. Oh, sorry, not turkey necks, but chicken necks. And you got the incredible ghost sitting down and just waiting patiently for his food. Ben was already outside. We're going to go ahead and cut. I'm sorry for how long this video is, by the way. I really hope you guys stick through and enjoy some of the more chill videos where, Ben, you really get to see how he eats and his beautiful, beautiful eyes. I apologize to Ghost if I might record Fan a little bit more. I always mention this is that Fan is the type of dog that eats a pizza with a fork he's very elegant he's very careful with how he does everything you see you can see him here how slowly he's eating it and just biting into it he's finding the perfect corners finding the you know every anything he can to kind of make his life easier very gentle and elegant dog so you kind of see here how frozen the dog food is you really get to see how much food it's in there too uh surprisingly in this video they actually didn't finish their food which was weird but perhaps they ate too much the, the night before Finn going for the he's gonna go ahead and lay down and really really enjoy his food which is awesome you know it's really great to see the dogs enjoying what they're eating and you can see the chicken breast there you can see some of those green stuff in there that's that's some of the supplements i give them for their joints i'm really really big on their joints uh that's something that i'm always very cautious about large dogs can have joint problems and are very very susceptible to it especially if your dog is i don't know hitting a hundred pounds before they're eating uh eight 10 months old if they're already that big you might want to start giving them supplements for those bones um i turned the camera here and you can see ghost just standing there next to me <laughs> i don't know what he was doing he just wanted to be next to me instead of eating his food is on the other side of the of the backyard i don't know what he's doing up here he just wanted to get some pets you see very very friendly dog i walk over there and he's like okay okay i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat he's all happy he's wagging his tail um and if i had to explain how ghost eats his food fan is again the guy that eats pizza with a fork and a knife cutting it up into pieces getting the perfect little slices not dirty at all ghost eats his food like eating spaghetti with your hands that's how ghost eats he eats spaghetti with his hands he is such a messy dog it's so hilarious how different they are and Ghost doesn't even care. He's just brute strength, breaking through. Sometimes he just barrels down. He'll eat the food down. Like instead of flipping it over and going from edge to edge, he just munches straight down into it. It's so funny. But we'll get some clips of that shortly. We have him here just kind of like contemplating like, do I want to eat? I think it's too cold for him to be honest. I think he doesn't really like it that cold. He always does this. He just waits a little bit. He puts it in the sun sometimes and he just waits for it to kind of cool down because it is too cold. So I'm like, okay, buddy, you can wait here. I'll go back to Finn. Recording Finn's beautiful eyes now. He's it looks like he didn't like that piece that he took out. But nonetheless, he's obviously enjoying his food. And as I mentioned a lot of times, guys, these are the types of videos where I show you guys more so how I feed them together you know both of them are in the same location in the same backyard you don't see ghost flipping out that fan is there you don't see fan flipping out that ghost is here you saw how close ghost got fan doesn't mind um ghost does kind of doesn't really like I think his uh his boundary is a little bit larger than fan fan has a very small boundary as long as they don't get really really close to his food he doesn't he's not one to mind with dogs as opposed to ghost where his boundary for allowing a dog near his food is a little little bit larger uh, nonetheless a lot of times just fan just passes by him and ghost just looks at him and he's like okay you know at this point they already know right like it's it's not like i've never fed them together and i think that this is why it's important to actually feed your dogs 
together uh you know, obviously supervise right you, you need to be there too just in case anything were to happen or in case you see any unwanted behavior but this is the importance of feeding your dogs together every once in a while is that they understand the boundaries that each they each place on each other they understand the communication that they have for one another if i were to have never ever done this once in their lives i have honestly i'm very confident that ghost would not even allow finn in the same backyard as him i'm pretty confident that finn wouldn't have let close ghost that close to him earlier it's all about repetition right it's all about creating those habits and creating a positive environment so here the positive environment is that Fan gets to eat raw food and he gets to finish his food right even if ghost is here he's still eating his food nobody's challenging him i'm not challenging him another important thing too is that when you feed your dogs these high high value foods you should be there with them up close like this and this is honestly something that you should be doing as a when they're puppies because i can promise you right now that if I wouldn't have done this with them when they were eight weeks old, I don't know if I would be able to get this close to them, honestly. I don't know. Um, this is just something that I always did. Even when I wasn't feeding raw, there was like a month or so that I didn't feed raw because I was so, so busy. with It was so hectic at work and at school. I was, I honestly didn't have time. I was barely sleeping at all. Uh, sob story. Play the small violin, right? Anyways... There was, a t there was like a month or so that I didn't feed raw. And when I would feed them their dog food, I was right there with them. I was right there with them. I was petting them. I was putting my, my hand in their bowl. I was giving them... I would sometimes like take the bowl away and then get feed them th to them by mouth. I was very interactive with them, even without the raw food. You don't have to feed raw food. You can feed anything as long as you give them that sense of understanding that you're not there to challenge them for their food you're not there to take away their food okay a lot of people ask me like well man i don't know how you're doing it like this uh i've tried with my dog but i'm not comfortable yet and hey it's small steps dude if your dog is not a puppy and he's an older dog maybe you want to feed him by hand right maybe that's how you want to start off if your dog is already old let's say you have a a ghost right you have a dogo argentino and you know, you're just not confident that you can get anywhere near this dog with raw food. Feed it, feed the raw food by hand. Okay, you can feed him like maybe ground beef through your hand and pet him while you're feeding him. You know, make him understand that you're the source of the food. And I think that's like the hardest part for when they're already older if they might show signs of aggression towards you or other dogs you know uh fortunately for me oh my god look at that juice jesus ghost i think that was an egg or something i don't know um you know fortunately for me ghost is such a gentle gentle dog with humans he's very very nice he's so i mean with with his pack right i'm not gonna say humans because uh if there's somebody he doesn't know he's gonna be very 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 uh protective of me and his pack as he should be but with his pack he's very gentle he's a he's a docile uh giant you know he's very calm you can see him here he's not aggressive he's not trying to showcase his strength by barking at me and let me show you, let me hope you guys understand something is that the lens that i use the camera lens is extremely wide extremely wide so what that means, it doesn't have a zoom in it, okay? So what that means is that right here where I'm at, I'm actually really, really close to Ghost. The only thing is that it's a really wide lens. <laughs> He's trying to eat the chicken foot. Pass it over to me. Maybe I'll eat it. Um, it's a really wide lens, so I'm actually really close to my dogs at this point. Like, I'm right up there. Like, that chicken foot right there is maybe, like four inches from the camera it just looks like it's a lot spaced out because of how wide the lens is okay honestly a lot of times i try to give them their space you know i'm not trying to be in there recording everything like 
you know, I, I like to give my dogs their space. I don't record every single meal they have. I'm not there every single meal they have. Like I separate Fen, can eat outside, and then I bring him in, and then a ghost or vice versa. Maybe ghost eats first. It's awesome to have all these videos. You know, I always like to pet, pet the dogs. Uh, whoa, we, we quickly move into something completely different of ghosts shaking the, the fish out. You can see there that ghost had a different approach. If you go back, Fen was eating his food uh, diagonally almost. Ghost is eating it again, like I mentioned earlier, from the top to the bottom. Here, I actually cut and I let I let uh I let them eat it for a little bit. What happened was that Fen stopped eating, and he was just kind of like walking around, and I guess he was done. He that's Fen's leftover right there. He didn't finish any of that, which is insane. So I'm like, okay, I uh we took Fen inside, gave him some water. Uh, he wasn't really thirsty. I guess he was just full. He just wanted to go inside. He was weird. I was like, okay, buddy. We, we take him inside. No no issues. Uh, Ghost of Barbarian does try to take his food and eat it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed the video, please, please, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It will really, really help us out to get to that 500 mark. If you liked the video, go ahead and pause the like button as well. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you for joining me today nothing but peace and love from my pack tears